Do you think tuning is super boring? And there is no charm in it? No more boringness in tuning. Because I'm going to give you a solution for that. Today we are going to see you a simple tunic with zipper without the pattern. This is the pattern we are going to use for our tunic dress today. Let me describe you in detail. It has a back with zipper of course. Then it has a front, a collar, a zipper and a rig rag lace or a zigzag lace whatever you want to say it with matching thread and of course we are going to surgery it and sew it let's describe you manually what we are going to do we are going to attach the collar on the front end neckline and the zipper on the back this is the bias tape which is going to use on several areas and the zigzag lace for its decoration or fanciness. Let me start with the work. This is the back of the work tuning which also has a zipper in it. There is two parts, one has a selvage and the other one has a raw fabric hem. I'm going to sew it till the end of the my zipper size. See, this is my zipper area. One has a raw hem and other one has a selvage. I'm going to sew a raw hem area with one point 0.2 centimeter 0.2 inch fold so I get my own selvage to secure the hemline and there is no turning after the wearing of it dress. See I have made my own selvage with it. A fabric selvage is to secure it and uh, my own selvage is also for to secure it. You can see it you can also press it for better result and for better look now I'm going to deploy my zipper in it I'm going to take first my salvage part and going to deploy it The zipper you can see I'm going to demonstrate it this is the salvage part and this is the raw ham part which I have made my own salvage the custom salvage you can say I'm going to see you the one end of the salvage over the salvage like this Try to make a difference of 0 point or 2 cent or 2 centimeter difference before the seam ends I fold the salvage area and sew it along the zipper this is the most easiest zipper installment I have found till date and I have always applied it. You can see I am take I am sewing in 90 degree angle. Then I make it in 180 degree and cross the zip. It is the part where zip hooks end. And we are going to make a straight rectangular shape over it. So there is a three sided seal we have done for zipper and this is I'm going to add it. I'm just making it finalized. There is no double seam on it. There is only a single seam on it. Here you go. 
remove the excess part of the zipper from the buff area so you don't need to panic at the time of neckline see how smooth this is and how it looks from the back end I have sewed it with the contrast thread just to show you guys I have made this video with so much concentration so you didn't miss any of the detail because it is just for tunic excitement and tunic refreshment thing that's why it doesn't involve any pattern and no cutting in it okay now I'm taking a bias tape which I'm going to decor uh, decorate on the front and side so first of all I'm going to make it look perfect and how I'm going to do it I'm applying the rack lace on it just take a rig rack lace on it and just seal it see just take a uh, rig rack lace uh, zip, zigzag legs or whatever you want to say and just make a one seal over it you can see I am sewing the at the one third of the lace part seam line or you can say the uh, zig, uh, at the end just just before the end of the zigzag lace You don't have any idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just turn around it and it looks like this. You can see it. I'm going to hide the one side of the zigzag inside the fold and the other one looks so revel so amazing in it. Uh, this is a simple tricks you can do by yourself and how you can make your tunic stand out because this is all about tunic because tuning is something that you can wear with shorts you can wear with jeans you can wear with pajamas they are you can wear it with the trousers a formal pants and the casual pants they always work with everything so i'm working with the i'm completing my next part of the lace because it should has two ends because we are going to deploy it in the center in the vertical center of the back uh, on of the front pardon yeah this is the looks that how it looks let me uh, show you it well after moving the thread okay yes this is how it looks let me show it vertically to you horizontally to you uh, this is how it looks and it looks like a pipe sort of thing or a scale sort of thing this fabric works for me very well honestly this is a pure cotton fabric um, it's very good fabric for both the season the summer the spring the autumn as the autumn is just coming ahead okay this is where i am going to see it um just make it sure that uh, when you uh, do something vertically or horizontally on the or you you need something scaling sort of thing you must deploy uh, pins on it or make it raw hand stitch on it because uh, we need some particular amount of accuracy here because uh, when you work with the lines or or with non-abstract prints they need some attention towards it because we need to match the lines or something like that but this is a polka dot you don't need but you need to uh, verify that uh, two times that it should be vertical along with the neckline till the bottom so i am damn sure that it is vertical um i'm just applying the seal we need to seal from the both side over the lace part you can see it 
makes the lace pressed itself you don't need to press it or if you want or you don't want any you are a beginner or uh, intermediate even you must try ironing over here so your lace will be ironed well pressed well so there is no glitches in the sewing final end project This is just a straight line when you pin it you are damn sure that it should be a in a position there is no movement in it obviously so we are just about to complete it the front part the front lace part the front part is still being there okay now what we are going to do we are working with the color and the color needs our more attention okay I'm just starting the work Mm, okay let me show you it properly okay there is are there are going to be four parts of the color okay all the parts of the color should be on the front there is no part of the uh, there is no color on the back so be careful that what I'm going to do and and properly follow the steps you are not going to lose anything okay first of all take the first part of the color and just see you lace on the hem line as similar as we have done on the bias tape thing this is a flat color pattern which are which we high uh, which we are already using in a flat color pattern dress which is in the red color and which is the amongst popular videos on our show you can find black eye on the top to go to that video you are going to love that one as well I'm just applying the lace on the second color as well this is the first one and this is the second one we are going to apply lace on the on the only two of the out of four colors only two has going to have a lace on it on them okay so this is the two part this this is the two colors what I'm going to do I'm just taking a single one color and going to map it on the other which has the lace and just going to sew it just for you don't need to do anything you just need to follow the already hemline already done hemline which is followed by when you apply the lace you got the hemline and then you are going to reseal it with having the one more color with it one more side of the color with it why i have done this because i will uh, this is not a problem i'm going to do it on from the other side which doesn't have any seal line already i have done because i don't need to use pen over here because this is the tip or you can a trick we are just tracing out the older one seal line and this is how look i have done what i have done it is a it is called under stitch and we have created under stitch collar side this is how it looks just like you can see yes I'm just going to do a finish line over it under stitch technique always has a inner seam and then the outer seam or you can the upper hem just to fix it or just to make it proper in a shape or it looks like a ham kind of thing okay this is the quickest thing uh, I'm just uh, repeating the step the older step for this one as well
this is my how my second color looks we have used four pieces of four pieces of colors for creating two colors okay this is how it looks we are i'm going to apply and deploy it now there i'm just uh, putting the pins over here so they didn't move here to there you can say that there is this is just a single seam while we are pinning it because um okay let me introduce a new thing this this is just a click in my mind that i'm going to tell you a new thing what i'm going to do i have take the back side of the inside of the fabric the back side of the fabric okay and just pin the collar over it this is a new trick that i have just clicked in my mind and i'm going to deploy it and just in front of you and you guys see that how beautiful it looks okay what i'm going to do i'm just doing a simple single c over it okay i'm going to place second color over the first color end Be careful with the boot thing uh, in this scenario because uh, my boot is, is is a steel one or metal one. If your boot is uh, plastic in in the form of plastic, then be careful because there is uh, three seals here. Okay, I'm just holding it. Here you go. It looks like this. I'm just pressing it so that it will good it comes up with a good finish. Okay. Two. I'm just holding it and going to do a one seal after reverting it to the front. I suggest you to do that. That you should use here a presser or an iron machine or iron because uh, intermediate and a beginner didn't carefully handle the situation you can see my boot is in real struggle over here but uh, as i am a industrialist so yes so i can handle with it okay this is the done thing and you can see that this fabric is just a wonderful that it looks like that uh, it uh, I have just praised over here but you can see I didn't do any pressing over here um, that's just so fabulous about this project okay what we are going to do now let me come up with the project okay. I am taking my back again and uh, Chopping the zipper from the upper part in the 45 degree angle just slightly no excess things and just removing the thread because I'm going to work on the uh, on the neckline over here the back neckline I'm taking what I'm going to do is I'm taking a bias step bus step can be found in the in my videos and in the black icon you can see over in the black eye icon you can see over here you can also see it what i'm doing is just going to see a bias tape along with the neckline and removing the excess part of that um, i'm removing the half part of it don't cut it before you are sewing it. just follow my steps i'm just folding it around the around the zipper this is a typical step so you need to focus on it properly what i was saying that don't cut the fabric don't cut the bass tape before you are deploying it or some 
this is how it looks so i will i will going to complete the matches again this is how it looks and uh, you can see this is so clear and so what i have done i am going to take this bar step like this and just see you along with neckline and then revert it you can see yes i have taken my bust tape and fold over the zipper on the back you can see that it is because i can lock the zipper from the upper part otherwise it you can zipper zipper zip will be in your hand at any time here you can see i'm just going to just going to seam a single line or single seal when you are doing such kind of reverting thing or under stitch thing always do notches over there because the fabric will become odd when you don't mm, do notch okay this is how it looks be careful what i'm going to do i'm just okay see it i'm sewing the shoulder how i'm sewing the shoulder i'm just going to take my back neckline on it and just go to just sew it trust me it looks very difficult but if you follow my all steps you are going to see it like a champ here you go i'm just removing the part and then i'll show you how it looks okay here you go it looks like killer okay i'm going to just do with a finish line over here so Taking the step back, I'm going to see it. Removing excess thread as always, and now how it looks. It looks very clean, very no glitches over here. and i have done with my second part as well now what we are going if you have any confusion in it repeat this process this is very easy thing and if you are getting problem let me know in the comment i will i am going to make it a single oriented video for this stuff okay okay now we are working with the sleeves as you can see there is no sleeves so i am just taking a bias stay and going to attach it as similar as we have done on the back neckline i have taken a bias stay and fold it and then going to sew it around the armhole see how this looks now i'm i'm removing the excess part because it will make some effort over the arm hole or maybe it uh, makes a uh, discomfort so make sure that you can careful regarding this remove the excess part and everything or now i'm going to see it just turn around it or uh, or fold it along with the arm hole fabric and just going to see okay let me see tell you that i'm this is how i see it and now i am folding over it and just make a single seam that's it and you are done with the sleeve part or you can say a armhole part or bias tape armhole this is how it looks 
and I'm going to do it for next sleeve as well and I skipped that part and I've just done it just super quick in it because it's super easy you just need to take a bass tape fold it and sew it along with the armhole then fold it and just make a single seal line remove excess part and just sew it why I am I am focusing and forcing you to to remove excess part and this and that because it creates discomfort and the finishing of the object is necessary in every kind in in every field of life in every object of life in life okay so the seal clothing sewing clothes is something that we are going to wear it so it should be nice to see that how it clean and clear it looks okay this is a done part what I'm going to do we need just need to see what sides and bottom a uh, bottom part but right now I'm sewing the sides I just join the back and front and I'm going to seam side let me know your ideas for designs or for your clothing you want or even you say you can send me a link on my Facebook page on even comment on the dresshub.com that you need to sew this and that in a eastern western whatever culture and where you belongs from okay now we are on the bottom side what we are going to do I have spared the two inch part from the one end side I'm going to sew the zigzag lace along with the hem line just as we have done in the bias tape and in on the collar it is more similar to the bass tape just going to seal a single hemline over it this is a plain simple zipper tunic dress with the zigzag lace without a pattern but soon we are going to do a a-line shirt with the, a pattern and you, are, and you are going to have a giveaway in it and uh, it will be very good for you guys that you are going to grade it according to your sizes as well or according to your kit sizes as well I'm soon going to teach you that how to grade your own pattern or how to grade your own clothes so just stay tuned with us and keep request us that you want this and that and you want to see this and you have you want a project to be done or you need a sheet dress or anything you want I have cut, removed the excess lace and just cut it and going to finish it and after finishing it you can see the side is still open I'm just going to do a single hem line over it but before that we need to give a little dimension to this lace as similar to as we have done in the bias team yes I'm just reverting it and now it become a single zig you can say a single zig lace because zag is already in oh I'm very bad at humorous a non humorous person
we are just about to finish this project if you have any questions any comments or any request just send me on the youtube or come to the dresscraft.com subscribe to the email address directly contact with me by filling the contact us form or even comment in the comment section so i can give you a feedback or just join the facebook force they already are becoming a 4 plus 4k plus so you can also join them i'm just uh, showing the side which is remaining the two inch sewing part okay and this is a done thing just press press it or iron it or make a little bow or flower for the collar part and uh, as you can see in the picture of the final product subscribe us tell us that you like us thank you bye